Chit Chat Kit Kats. Is it Gay Pride Week? That's what I'm getting on the, the video things, and it's Gay Pride Week. Anyway, I've been watching um, this segment, of Generation Drag, it's called, and it's these young kids that are getting into drag, and it's really interesting. Um, the parents are very supportive of it, which is fabulous to see, although there's one family that they're a little too supportive. You know, it's like, uh, if you're gonna do drag, it's kind of like, you've gotta be the best. <laughs> really, you know, let them have fun. It, it's that same pushing to succeed. You've got to succeed no matter what it is you do. You've got to be the best. You've got to, it, it's too much. It's too much, too much pressure. Um, it's great to be supportive, but they're supportive and then there's pushing beyond the boundaries, okay? And uh, so we've had, one of them is really interesting name is Bailey. Now Bailey was born a female, transitioning, she was wanting to transition to male, okay, Ch name changed to Bailey, but she's doing drag. <laughs> born a female, wants to transition to male, but doing drag. Okay, that works kind of like uh, you know, when I was in my 20s, I met this person and uh, they wanted to transition to female. Wasn't gay, wanted to transition to female to be a lesbian. And I was like, wait a minute, you like women, but you wanna to transition to become a woman so that you could be a lesbian. <laughs> and that one, I was like, spinning at that time. I didn't, I was like not getting it. But one's sexuality and the way that one relates to what form one is in, they don't always go together, okay? Just because it's a male that wants to transition to be a female doesn't mean they're gay. Well, they'll be gay once they transition. <laughs> I don't know. It, it gets a bit confusing, but it's really interesting. It's Generation Drag. I'm on the second episode, Raising Queens. And some of these young, you know, they're born male, but I mean from, there's one of them that was showing in a diaper. In a diaper was posing and having the purse and posing already at, you know, like maybe two years old, okay? Um, yeah, there's a Spanish family and uh, the grandmother is not supportive. She, she just, you know, the family's supportive, which is great. And these kids, the makeup they're doing, I'm blown away. I mean, I, I'm just looking at them doing drag makeup. It's perfect. Amazing, but it's great because they're getting the drag mothers. That's somebody, you know, that's been doing drag that takes them under their wing and starts to work with them and help them uh, to define the persona that they're putting forward, etc. So anyway, if you uh, can watch this one, it's really good. It's called Generation Drag. And it's these kids that are you know, transgender and uh, amazing. They're amazing. And it's good to see families that are supportive, uh, but you know, again, like I said, they're supportive and then there's pushing the uh, pushing to, to overkill, okay? Um, but yeah, if you get a chance, you know, it's something to, to watch. And uh, really in my generation, when I was young, we, I can't imagine kids being able to come out as transgender 
and and uh, you know at that being accepted. I'm so glad that it's starting to be accepted. Well, except by for ones like DeSantis, the Satan over there, and the ugly MAGA, the dark MAGA crowd, um, which wants to define everything in a box because, let's face it. That's all they can do. They, they, they have to have everything defined in a box and they can't have any kind of creativity. They're like the, the you know, little sheep and there's a box and these are have to have the do's and don'ts and you can't expand past that because that would fry their little brains, okay? But uh, yeah, uh, it's good to see these kids being expressive and coming out of their shell. And some of them say, you know, when they get dressed in drag, they become a whole other person and, and the, their confidence blossoms and blooms. And that's always a good thing if you have your confidence that can be blossoming and blooming and, and being buoyed up. Now, today, you know, I've been taking the OSHA for a couple of days and I was having all the big swollen lymph nodes I am not feeling that big lymph node today. Um, I think it's working. I had swollen lymph nodes on both sides. I had knots there and I'm not feeling it now. So it may be working and routing those little buggers out. Oh, I almost forgot I have a new thing of coffee. I got to put my teasel in. The teasel helps to uh, Teasel is supposed to uh, make them go into the blood system, pull them out into the blood system. And then the OSHA is there to, to knock them out, you know. So, you know, I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, I am not feeling that big lump there. That could be why I was so uh, absolutely beat yesterday and uh, this morning, and I, like I said, I'm still feeling very, uh, you know, painful. Everything is, everything is, <laughs> everything is painful today. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm enjoying watching this generation drag, raising queens, and I have to say, I'm a bit jealous of the makeup these kids can do. That's something I always thought would be really fun to do, have somebody do drag makeup on me. I'd love to see drag makeup once. <laughs> okay, so I let the cat out of the bag. You know, it is something I think would be really fun to see what it would look like in drag makeup, okay? But anyway, yeah, uh, I'm going to go back and watch this show, um, Generation Drag, really interesting. And these kids are so talented. And it's wonderful to see them come out and be who they are and have confidence and, uh, you know, be supported. Um, great thing to see. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, Love and Light, and I'll see you online. Now, this one is on Discovery Plus. Um, I don't know if it's somewhere else as well playing, but if you have Discovery Plus, uh, Generation Drag is on there. And it could be other platforms because they're saying that it's uh, drag month and, and I had no idea that it is uh, pride month so not drag month it's not drag month it's pride pride month is what they're saying so anyway on that note I'm going to leave this here and continue with my coffee and my other things and uh, yeah oh I am happy not to feel that, I'm telling you. I was scheduled to go this next, uh, in July, I was scheduled to go and have those looked at and biopsied, okay? Um, so, 
We'll see. Yeah, I'm thinking it was right, right in here. I'm feeling a little bit, but way low compared to what it was. Um, so those little buggers are being routed out of the lymph system. So that's, uh, that's good. I'm making progress. See you online.